Team, keep it clean. Good morning slash good afternoon. I just had me a really big like breakfast. Like it was really more so an extended dinner uh, because it was some leftover rice that my wife had made mixed with some KFC chicken and biscuit and orange juice. It was a nice little mix. Anyway, I love y'all. Team, keep it clean. Happy Wednesday. Um, there was a lot of hoopla surrounding uh, Mike Davis, the newest Ravens running back. Um, a lot of talk about the signing itself. Um, a lot of talk about some people thought it was a good signing, some people thought it was a bad signing, and there were some people like in between, like, okay, it is what it is, that's fine. Um, but one thing that I talked about yesterday when we spoke about the Ravens bringing in Mike Davis was didn't expect it to be no big, big money deal. We knew it wasn't going to be a big money deal, um, but expect it to be like, probably like a vet minimum deal, super, super low deal. I thought maybe that they would, um, the way that they would structure it would be like a two-year deal, but all the guarantees are in year one. Uh, so they could just cut them in year two uh, just so they could sort of spread out the cap hit. But the Ravens were like, no, we're doing a one-year deal uh, because the details of the deal came out today. Um, so it is a one-year deal worth 1.2 mil. That's it. And see, the thing about it, then with the signing bonus, it said it, it was a 152.5 thousand. That's how much uh, it was for him to sign. So I guess that's a signing bonus or whatever. So that's money that he gets. He gets that 152,000. Um, but other than that, everything else, I would assume is through incentives. So extremely cheap, extremely cheap deal. Um, and is, that is the veteran salary benefit deal. So with that being said, um, it's a deal to where it doesn't mean he's going to be on the roster, uh, for the long haul. Like a, a lot of you mentioned that that is a big possibility. A lot of you mentioned that this could be just an insurance policy. Again, stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. I'm sure y'all saw the Cardinals post from yesterday where they said that I said, okay, Cardinals now y'all don't all right now. But stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Justice Hill coming back from injury. J.K. Dobbins coming back from injury. Gus Edwards coming back from injury. And we don't know when those guys will be back yet. Now, another thing I've seen a lot of people say, uh, one of the reasons why a lot of people were not down with this signing, they were like, man, Mike Davis, he's washed. He's terrible. He's sorry. He's not good. And however you feel about Mike Davis, that's fine. I, I, don't, I don't mind it. But... Again, low, low risk, low, low risk, very low risk in this signing because, again, it's very cheap. Um, but for him, what we're hoping, uh, what a lot of people are hoping, uh, are hoping, I just said hoping, I, I'm mixing hoping with happening. But what a lot of people are hoping happens is that he's with the Falcons and it's just a bad situation. Like, because you know with Ravens, like, usually, like, they can, uh, if a running back got something left, <laughs> They, they can get it out of Sometimes it may take a little longer than other. It just all depends on the situation. Like Devontae Freeman, it took a little while. It took a little while to get something out of him. With Le'Veon Bell, they tried, they tried, they tried. And then they were like, you know what? Nope. And they, they ended that experiment in like, what, two weeks? It was super fast. Le'Veon Bell was in it. Le'Veon Bell was out. Latavius Murray, um, they were getting what they needed out of him. Because uh, he wasn't getting a bunch of yards, but he was like their short yardage back. He was getting a touchdown a game, and then he would break some long here and there. Um, but then he got hurt, so he missed some time. So that kind of messed up everything, too. But then eventually, they started getting a lot out of him, well, especially in that last game of the season. Then they just decided, you know what, we're not going to run the ball anymore. But anyway, um, so with Mike Davis... <laughs> Hopefully, if he if he is around and if he does remain on the team, hopefully they can really uh, draw it out of him. Uh, because with the healthy offensive line, uh, that'll be great. Uh, with a healthy Lamar Jackson, that'll be great. Uh, with a with Greg Roman and his running scheme, uh, that'll be great. Uh, so they should really be able to get it out of Mike Davis. I keep call I will keep wanting to call him Mike Williams. Every time I get ready to say his name, it, it, I'd be getting ready to say Mike Williams, man. But anyway, this move, it is very, very cheap. Now, another thing about this move, it should not, it will not, and it better not hinder them from making any other potential moves. Because, you know, one of the biggest next potential moves the Ravens could possibly make, and it's expected that they do make a move, whoever it may be, 
uh, is at wide receiver. Um, Bateman, Proche, Duvernay, Wallace, cool. All guys who um potential base guys. Potential is there. We haven't seen it drawn out all the way yet. Um, they also haven't been. They all haven't been in a uh, position to see their true potential. Um, but they're all potential based guys right now, simply because they have not been able to prove it yet. Um, but even with that being said, I think most of us expect Ravens to still sign a wide receiver to bring in a wide receiver. I know the most recent talk has been Jarvis Landry this, Jarvis Landry that. Um, I was talking to one of my guys uh, on Instagram, West Bank. And he was like, oh, you think the, the Ravens are going to get Jarvis Landry? I said no. Yeah, he said, why? Why, why, why? why don't you think the Ravens are going to get him? What do you think is going to prevent them from getting Jarvis Landry? And I said, well, another team, be, another team being interested. Uh, because it's been crazy because with the Ravens, um, guys who they have, it's been said that they are like publicly interested in, besides Calais Campbell, but that's like an asterisk because he was here for the past two years. But guys that it's been said that they've been publicly interested in, well, we know how the story ends. So, I mean, with Jarvis Landry, I'm just, I'm like, okay, whatever happens, happens. I'm not really expecting it to happen, but whatever happens, happens. Because, again, remember Darius Smith? That was a whole nother saga, but, hey, that was, that's what it was. Um, Emmanuel Ogba, um, that, that was that. Um, of course, Bobby Wagner, that was one of the biggest ones. Um, there was somebody else, too. It was somebody else, but I cannot remember who it was off the top of my head. But I know it was somebody else. But this offseason, it's been just so much going on that sometimes I just I, I can't even keep up. But I forgot who it was. I know that there was that story about the whole Melvin Gordon thing. Uh, and was that really Raven's interest or was that Melvin Gordon trying to build up his? I think it was more so on the Melvin Gordon side, trying to build up his market and just build up. Uh, his how interested the Broncos really were in bringing him back. I think that's what it was, but it's just one of those things we, we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. So, uh, like, but we're, we're Ravens. The guys, it's like this off season. When you think about it, the guys who they've signed, there hasn't been much public talk about the Ravens being interested in them. No, it wasn't. There wasn't no buzz about oh Ravens. They're interested in Marcus Williams. It wasn't nothing about that. Nothing. Oh, Ravens, they they interested in Morgan Mosley. There was nothing. Patrick Ricard, that's like an asterisk because he was on the Ravens before. But as far as outside guys that they brought in, like, yeah, there was no, was no buzz on no Mike Davis. There was no buzz on that. So all the Ravens stuff that they've been doing this offseason, Michael, even Michael Pierce too, even him. Like, with, with all of the stuff that the Ravens have been doing this offseason, it's been hush-hush stuff. Stuff that wasn't nobody talking about. Stuff that wasn't being reported, at least. But, like, there, there were people that mentioned some of these guys as good fits. Like, oh, yeah, it'd be smarter. The Ravens, they could get a Morgan Moses. Oh, the Ravens, oh, they cut Mike, the Vikings cut Michael Pierce? Okay, the Ravens could get Michael Pierce. Oh, oh, Marcus Williams, he would be a good safety for the Ravens. But there wasn't as far as from reporters and whatnot and from media and whatnot and from all, there, there was no, from, from the public, they, oh, Ravens are interested in that person as far as the guys who they did uh, sign. So as far as this whole Jarvis Landry thing, that, that's one of the reasons I just, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, I know for some people, if Ravens didn't sign Jarvis Landry, they would be happy. For some people, if Ravens didn't sign Jarvis Landry, they'd be upset. And then some people right in the middle, they'd be like, oh, okay, cool. That is what it is. It feels like um, with Ravens, with, with Ravens fans at least, um, especially at wide receiver, it's, it's like uh, sometimes it's like it can be like, all right, well, I guess we'll take what we can get. We'll take what we can get um, because it's like when you – there can be like nothing being talked about with certain wide receivers. And then if it's mentioned by the media or something, oh, Ravens are interested in that wide receiver. Um, we all start thinking about 
the possibilities, the impact. We all start thinking about what could possibly happen, how this player could fit. Like, oh, okay, hey, we'll bring him on. And then, well, I mean, but at the same time, there'll be some people like, oh, no, 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 we don't want to bring him on. So, yeah, man, it's been a uh, it's been a roller coaster at wide receiver for the Ravens. Roller coaster. Uh, I remember back last year, Juju said no. T.Y. Hilton said no. <laughs> I'm straight. And Sammy Watkins was like, oh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got y'all, boys. I got, I got y'all. So, um, but yeah, that's his life. So, we'll see what goes down. Anyway, I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for uh, for listening. Um, question from subscribers. We will be back on that uh, very, very soon. We have uh, li literally like a million and a half questions. Um, so, yeah, y'all stay on the lookout for that. Appreciate y'all. We out.